In this lesson, we'll use the puppet tool to animate the leaves of the Poppy logo. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit on those leaves and pull this up a bit. I'm just using the space bar to toggle over to the hand tool. And since I already have this moved into place, this provides me a really nice way just to get started here. So I'm gonna start with the leaves and just with that layer selected, I'm gonna come in and we'll grab the puppet pin tool. So if I click that, then I can come over here and add some pins along these leaves. So I'm just gonna left click to add some pins. Just about nine pins there I think will do great. And actually I'm gonna undo a few of those because I'd rather have this one be a little bit higher. There we go. Great, okay, so those puppet pins are in place and now I'm ready to start animating those a little bit. So I'm actually gonna move forward several frames um, because I want this to have a little more than a second for those leaves to unfurl. The reason why we're using puppet pins is because we pin it where it goes and then we're gonna morph it to kind of almost look like it's in bloom. So we're almost working backwards in this way. Um, let's take a look at where our puppet pins ended up. If I just open all of these here, shift select all those. You can see we've got all these keyframes for those pins. Now I'm gonna go forward about a second and a half. We're working at 30 frames per second just by default. So I'm gonna hold shift and hit page down three times. And that moved me forward 30 frames, which means that I moved forward one second in time. And you can see that over here. Now I want to probably give myself a little bit more, almost two seconds, so let's try about 50 frames. So I'm gonna just go forward 20 more frames by holding shift and hitting page down twice. And then let's just grab all those keys and pull them forward. So we're gonna start out with our leaves all kind of furled up and then they're gonna uncurl to this position. So let's just start with one of our pins. I just clicked away to deselect and then grab one pin to be able to come in here. Now let's find, let's say maybe this one. I'm just gonna pull that in kind of like this. And we're just working on working this kind of into a furled up, little curled up leaf. Okay, and then I can toggle using the space bar. Great. Okay, let's do the same thing with our other pieces. And you can see how easy it is to use the puppet pins just to really quickly get this looking the way you want. And it may be helpful to you to turn off your other flower layers so you can kind of see that now this is just a very tiny little white dot. And then when I scrub forward, it's going to kind of pop out and you can see those leaves appearing. Now, I don't really like the way that they're coming out. It almost looks like a bat that's flapping its wings. So what I'm gonna do is go right in between those keys, take a look at the pins again, and start to kind of coax them to unfurl more in the way that I want them to. So you can see how this one is just going in a straight line I'm gonna tell it I want it to kind of go up first. And we can kind of move those around like this, okay? So now you can see how it's gonna come out and then start to do that little flap. So instead of just going straight across, they're gonna go up and over. Very nice. Okay, so I really like the way that that is looking. And let's go ahead now and stagger one of our leaves to open a little bit later than the first one. So the way that I can do that is by selecting all the pins on one side. So I'm just gonna shift select all of those. And it looks like that's gonna be puppet pin one, two, three, and four. So what I'll do is start at the beginning and move forward 10 frames. So I'm just gonna hold shift and hit page down. 
and then we'll select the keys for one, two, three, and four, and just pull them forward very slightly. And you can hold shift to snap them on that current time indicator. So now what's gonna happen is leaf on the left is gonna come out first and then leaf on the right. So it makes it just look a little bit less uniform and perfect that way. And then another thing we can do is maybe select all our keys for those pins. And let's go up to animation, choose keyframe assistant and easy ease those. Let's just see what it looks like. We may not wanna easy ease that middle key, but let's just test it out. So I'll hit the zero key and you can see how if you want that look where it kind of pauses in the middle, that's what those easy ease keys are doing in the middle. But I do like the way that it slows it at the beginning and end, and then the, it would go fastest in the middle if we didn't have that other key that has easy ease on it. So let's select all our middle keys, which is gonna be all of these. I'm just holding shift to grab all those. And what I'll do is control click them. And you see that takes it back to a linear keyframe. And then I'm going to control click it one more time. And that's going to make it an auto bezier. So what that'll do is just smooth it so it doesn't stop in the middle. So now I'll hit the zero key. And you can see how it just smooths it a little bit where it makes it kind of start out a little bit slower, goes a little bit faster in the middle, and then slows back down again at the end. So it just redistributes the timing. It's doing exactly the same motion, but it's just making the timing look a little bit different, okay? So now that we've pinned our puppet um, of our little leaves. It's time to move on and we'll be creating some shapes from vector layers of our stems. And then we'll be animating those to look like they're growing out of the leaves. So stick around and we'll learn how to create shapes from vector layers in the next lesson.